Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a quick Super Tarts haul. I was not intending on ordering last week unless she restocked some of the Christmas scents I was looking for. And she, sorry, I'm trying to wipe down my coffee table. She ended up restocking not the ones that I wanted. <laughs> so I don't really know how this order was placed. I think it was just like an impulse buy, which I hate doing that because, yeah, I just... I really need to slow down on my purchasing because I'm finding that I just get overwhelmed really quickly. So, yeah. I hopefully in the new year, like I, I just placed my last order for the year yesterday from any vendor. So, those will be coming in in a couple days and then I plan on just focusing on really like melting. So, I had to get Insidious. Uh, that was the reason why I placed the order because I didn't want it to go away because it's like once it sells out you never know when it's going to come back so i knew i wanted to get insidious this is driftwood cotton candy and vetiver this is an amazing scent i highly recommend if you like fresh scents even sweet scents because this one comes off as very sweet but oh, i did, did do a warm review on this one and i absolutely adored it so i went ahead and grabbed two of those i don't know where my other one is but it, I'll, I'll get to it here in a minute but that one is just really good so that one is one I have warmed before she did put up Darth which is the omen blended with rosemary mint which you guys know I don't love the omen very much but this one is stronger on the rosemary mint so I did grab this one I say grab it like I literally like went to the store and grabbed it but I think that's really cool how it's all black that's pretty sweet this one you can smell the omen, but I remember on warm that the rosemary mint really pops out. I love rosemary mint on its own, so I was fine grabbing this one or um, buying, purchasing that one. One that I've had before and I don't think I ever gave it a really fair shot is C3PO, which is honey toffee chunks and buttery brown sugar co cookies. It's honey, I washed the kids dupe. This is when I wasn't into bakery, I had purchased this. So I think I ended up de-stashing it, but it just sounded really good since I've been like, like back into bakery. This one does, uh, I'll be really interested to warm this one. I'm gonna try to warm warm it sooner versus later so I don't end up de-stashing it again. Not that I'm going to, but I just don't want to hang on to it for too long. I really want to warm it and see if that cookie note comes out. That would, I think, make it really awesome. She did restock Polar Express, and I do remember liking this one. I think I had this one before. Hot chocolate topped with warm toasted marshmallows, raw cocoa, dusted raspberries, and butter cookies. I love hot chocolate scents at this time of year. I can't remember if I've warmed this one before or not, but I have smelled it pretty heavy on the hot chocolate. I do smell, I think I smell the butter cookies, something. What am I smelling? Maybe the raspberry? No. I don't know. I'll have to warm that one and give a better review, but if you like hot chocolate scents, that one's worth like checking out. This, okay, this again, this is why <laughs> when she does these restocks and then she lists everything that she restocked, I always look down at I had this one and this is when I wasn't into bakery and I think I either gave this one away or de-stashed it or something. It's cola, cake batter, vanilla bean noel, and zucchini bread. I remember, or maybe I did warm this one and I wasn't impressed, but I, that was when I wasn't into bakery either. I'm really hoping that, I actually, I think I got this thinking that I was going to mix some of her zucchini bread. I have one of the potion packs in zucchini bread that I was gonna mix with this because I really wanted that bakery note to come out. So this one is a very sweet cola. You can smell the bread, like a little bit of the breadiness. But like, and that's what I mean, it's like your nose always changes. It's like constantly changing. So like things I didn't like, I like now. Okay, Family Stone is one I've always liked. Cinnamon glazed vanilla beans. I don't love cinnamon. Something about this one is so smooth and so creamy. It's so weird because it's not, like it says cinnamon on it. And to me, you do get the cinnamon, but it's really just a really creamy, like bakery 
just a hint of cinnamon to me. I don't know, maybe on warm it'll change. I know I've warmed this one before, but I really like Family Stone a lot. I had to pick up A Christmas Vacation. I, I think I'm down to my last clam of it, and I really like this one. This is a Christmas tree and snowy spearmint. This is just a great one overall. You get the spearmint and the Christmas tree. That's what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if I've been showing the inside of these. I'm doing really bad today, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. The, oh, the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me again. The bottom's really cool. This one is just fresh. It's minty. It's sharp. I think I did like a review on this when I did the Super Tarts Christmas blends. Oh, here's my second Insidious. So I did order from her restock yesterday, but I was like really good. I stayed away from her newer blends. Oh, I got a sample of Katniss, which it looks like a little cookie. I got half of a cookie. Katniss is eucalyptus and lemon curd, I think. Oh, you know, that one, that one's lighter on the eucalyptus, which I like. It's kind of got a stronger lemon curd in there. Huh. You know, I haven't had lemon curd in a long time, and now all of a sudden I'm like, sort of liking lemon again, <laughs> which is so weird because I haven't liked cinnamon for a while. So let me see, was that everything? Yeah, so I'm super excited about my next order because I finally got my P.F. Chang's and I finally got my Miracle on 34th, so I'm super happy. Did I order any of the other originals? Um, I don't remember what else I got, but I did order a few of the new blends, but a lot of the blends that she offered yesterday, I knew like some of her scent oils that she uses. Well, not that I know like what, what scent oils exactly she's using, but like if I've ha experienced that one of the scents before from her and I know that I don't like it or, I did order one random wild card scent that I'm curious to see if it comes out the way I hope it does. But a lot of them, I was looking at like the different notes and I was like, one of them had cucumber in it. I was really interested in that one, but cucumber and I do not get along, even though I think Brady came on and said that the cucumber wasn't really strong. I just didn't, like, I don't want to mess with, like, I don't want to mess with, uh, I don't want to mess with scents that I may not like. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and just, you know, maybe listen to other people's reviews before I go like ape shit and buy the whole thing, you know, buy all the new scents. That's what I would do. That would be the old me. That would be the old me like last Christmas is to buy all the new scents, but I did not. I, I picked and choosed, choosed. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I picked three new ones, I think is what I did. Yeah. All right. That's it. You guys, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm on like a ramble fest, but anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.